Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon you. So today we're going to learn V-Ray HDRI in 3ds Max. So let's begin. The first and the foremost thing is there are prerequisites for this video. The first prerequisite what I want to show you is downloading the models for 3ds Max. And the second prerequisite is downloading the HDRI files. Now for downloading these files, you need to go for this thing and just type house, uh, not exactly side, I'm just typing house and archive3.net. Uh, this 3. Uh, archive3.net is actually the site where you'll be getting all the models for 3ds Max when you press enter. Select the first thing and you can see there are pretty much uh, the homes you can see. You can actually download it in order to place just beside uh, your elevation or you can actually use it for the test as well. So I'm clicking something like this and you can see here this is the home. If you want to download it, you can actually click on this download and click this, click this thing OK download and you'll be getting a RAR file. If you're extracting it, you'll be getting uh, something like this in which all the textures will be placed and you will also be getting uh, this file. Now, that is actually the first requisite. The second prerequisite is actually the site from where you'll be getting the HDRIs. You can select your own HDRIs from the site if you know, but if you don't know, I'll be uh, giving you in the uh, description link from where you can actually download this HDRI files. Now, let's get back to our 3ds Max. Once you open the 3ds Max, the next thing what you have to do is just to make this home inside your Max thing, uh, making it a little like this, placing it somewhere. Just maximizing it, maximizing it, and then I'm gonna go for a top view, pressing T for that. And the next thing is you need to place a camera here. So in order to place a camera, sometimes in 3ds Max will not be having the camera view. Like if I'm gonna go for a camera in V-Ray, will not be having any camera except V-Ray dome camera. For that thing, there is a very important thing. What I'm gonna show you, uh, this thing. I'll be giving you this text in the description. If you're gonna copy this thing and then place it somewhere here, Ctrl plus V, and then press Enter. You will be having a camera somewhere here if you do that trick. I'm going to go for a perspective view and you can see your small camera available. Just select that camera. If you're not able to select that thing, just move it and then select now. Go to the modify and you can see here I'll be having target option. Just tick this thing, again tick this thing and then try and move this thing a little bit here. And you can see we will be having the target. Now getting back to our perspective view. Um, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the chop view again. Just select this camera and try to move this thing or adjust this camera first, uh, you know, perfectly. Now I'm gonna move this thing a little bit here, go for the front view, and then try to make this target a little bit upside and make your camera a little bit upside. Just adjust that camera according to your wish. I'm gonna go for left, pressing L, and I'm gonna go for the top view. I think in the top view, the things is uh, not perfectly. Just I'm trying to move it here making it kind of like this yeah that's probably very nice it's actually showing something like this you can actually adjust your foe and uh, to i think the top part is not visible i'm gonna back to my front view oh there's a plane going <laughs> above my my building hello so i'm selecting it again and trying to make this thing downside Let's get back to camera. Yeah, that's probably my very nice thing. Now the next thing is you need to place a, a very plane. Just go here, go for a very plane, click somewhere, it's gonna create a ground kind of thing. Okay, I think uh, that's done. Now the next thing is uh, I need to place a dome light. So how to do this thing is go for this lighting, go for a video light, and then you can see it's a plane. I just select the dome. Let's click here. And after uh, clicking it, just select this thing, go to the modify, and you can see after going a little bit downside, you can see there's none. Just select here, VRA HDRI, just click on OK, and then it's going to ask you where exactly. I'm actually having a bridge of HDRI. If you also want, you can actually see the description where to get this HDRI for free. Now I'm selecting one of it, and then I'm clicking on open, uh, like this, and then I'm going to go for material. After that thing, you can see I actually got the material uh, slot and I'm going to go for selecting this thing again, kind of like this. And then I'm going to put this thing in one of the material slot. Just click on OK. And the next thing is I am going to uh, render this thing. And if you want to increase or decrease your lighting part, you can actually do this thing with this two multipliers. Or if you want to do again by another thing, you can actually use this thing as well. But I uh, usually prefer to use this thing. 
So however, let's go to the first render. And before going to the first render, I'm going to show you the settings, how exactly I'm going to use in the render. Just uh, try to see here. Actually, this is one of the render production I have. Uh, I, I, I will be using every time. So you can see here is global elimination. First of all, let's go to V-Ray. In that thing, you can see the type is bucket. There isn't any render mask. And this is the filter I'm using. You can actually use your own settings as well, but this is the settings what I I'm actually using for this tutorial. There isn't any environment, and you can see different kind of uh, minimum samples, mounts, so on and so forth. Color mapping. So these are the things which I will be using for my render in this tutorial. I'm gonna go for global elimination. This is the radiance map and light cache, multipliers, reflective, and saturation contrast, so on and so forth. So that was pretty much, and now let's go quickly to the render. So I'm going on this render, and you can see how things are looking like. So if you want to adjust any lighting part, I'm just stopping it. I want to increase the light, let's say. So I'll do that thing. Just get back to, I uh, said you how, how I need to increase or decrease that thing. You can see your render multiplier is there right now. It's one. I'm just making this thing as ten. So now let's see how things are gonna be. Click on the game render, and you can see it's more brighter. And you can see how the light which is on the sky is falling on your uh, house and getting lit up. So this is how you can actually use your uh, HDRI images in order to get a realistic renders. And stop this thing. You can actually place the sun as well in order to get the shadows. So that was pretty much about today's tutorial. Hope you like this thing. If you want if you want to have some questions about it, you can actually put that thing in the comment section. So until that, slava